Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to take an external hard drive out of the case and I'm going to show you how you can run it in your computer. Before we get into this video, you might ask, well, what's so difficult about getting a hard drive out and putting it into your computer? Probably most of you already know how to connect a hard drive in your computer. But the issue is, let me show you, the issue is when you take the hard drives out, for Western Digital, for example, they have these white label um, hard drives and they are only sold as external drives uh, versus the other drives that are labeled as blue drives, black drives or the NAS drives um, which are the red ones. Uh, these ones they don't run in your computer and what happens is the hardware once it's connected to your computer is going to go into a basically reset mode cycle and it's going to be stuck there and your computer won't even boot sometimes uh, for that reason and these drives only will run and spin up once they are connected to this little board in the enclosure and you have power and the usb connected but there is a fix how you can use these often cheaper ones in your computer before all of that Obviously, you are going to void your warranty once you open the enclosure of the hard drive, uh, even the external one. But if you are cheap as, as me and have one laying around and now think, okay, I want to use it in my desktop, I'm going to show you how it's done. Uh, before showing you, I will tell you what the issue is. So the issue is or lies in the SATA power connector. So if we have a hard drive here, um, let me just see if you can get this in focus. So we have two connectors here. One is the SATA data connector and the other one, sorry, over there is the SATA power connector. And the SATA power connector has specifications for one pin to cause the hardware reset cycle. And when it receives the voltage, it's going to go into that mode. Uh, we will just block the voltage from getting there. And I will show you easily how this is done. All you need is uh, some electrical tape, uh, maybe something to apply some pressure on the pin, on the tape to apply it and some scissors. And now let's jump into how it's done and how you can make the hardware run in your computer. Now let's jump to the demonstration part of this video. Let me just quickly show you what we need to acquire this fixed. We need electrical tape, some scissors, and potentially some sort of a little screwdriver to apply the tape a little bit better or more perfectly. Now zooming in to explain you what we're actually going to do before we do it. So on the hard drive, you will see two connectors. The smaller one is the SATA data connector and the bigger one is the SATA power connector. And we will count to pin three, starting from the closer side to the data connector. And that is the pin that is of interest for us. So we will take electrical tape now and put this over pin number three. For the electrical tape, we don't need much, but I will just cut a small piece to um, handle it, it better. And then we will cut a small sliver off of the tape that we will need. So you see, it doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be straight. It just needs to cover the pin later on. So we take this little sliver of electrical tape and then counting to pin three, again, starting from the side towards the data connector, which is the smaller connector, uh, we will put it over pin number three. So when you cut these, make sure it only covers one pin and one pin only. If necessary, make some changes to the tape and then apply it as I'm showing here uh, with light pressure. And again, make sure it only covers this one pin and standoff material. Basically, we will take and bend it over the connector. So the full connector, also the tip of the connector is completely blocked. And once you get the, the hard drive connected, the pressure then should make sure that this tape will stay in its place. Now I am connecting the hard drive just so you see that everything fits. So let's put on the power connector 
as well and as you can see it fits snug over the connector as it should and again the pressure then will hold the pin in place it will come off once you take the connector off but that's basically the idea to have a non-permanent fix to this issue so i hope this video was helpful in some sort of way if you maybe want to convert your own external hard drive into an internal one and if you are into non-mainstream tech stuff uh, please also consider subscribing to the channel and i talk to you in the next video